Hi, my name is Philip, and today I'm going to show you the new workflow in the Dialogs documentation. Please keep in mind that the things I am about to show you are free for everyone to use. With Dialogs Evo 9 we have added the project mode, which can be found at the very top right next to the construction mode. Here you have the opportunity to insert project relevant information, such as the project name, a description and a project image. Please note that the image you add here will not automatically be placed on the cover page of your documentation. At first, it will be filed in your image gallery. You can decide which images you want to show if you go to the page settings in the documentation. You can now also view and add project participants including their information. Contact details you saved in a previous version of Dialogs Evo are not gone. In Evo 9 there is a history with suggestions that appears when you enter the first letter of your contact's name. When you go to the documentation, you will notice that we have made some changes to the appearance as well as the workflow. In the center you still have the viewport. And on the left side you have the revised project tree which is now better structured. If you want to make changes to your current page selection, simply click Edit. A new feature of Dialogs Evo 9 is that you can now select and deselect several light scenes in the project tree. Which means that you no longer need to switch to the light scenes tool in order to make changes. Another new feature of Dialogs Evo 9 is that you are now offered layout alternatives on many output pages. We have also added a glossary which gives you an explanation to the formula, symbols and abbreviations in your documentation. Bear in mind that the glossary will appear at the end of your documentation once you have exported it as a PDF. There is also a new page called Contacts which lists everyone who is involved in the project. In addition to that you can now add a project description either with or without images to your documentation. If you want to add images to your description, simply go to Configure page and add them under Views and Images. Under Header and Footer you can now also upload your logo and insert a text for your footer. After you have done so, you have the possibility to keep this information on all pages the same by clicking on the tiny notepad icon in the top right corner and choosing the option Use on all pages. Please note that the option for setting the header and footer has been removed from the general settings. We have also integrated a room list, which can be displayed with every story. This way you get a compact documentation without having to put each room individually on paper. Descriptions and images are now grouped under one hub in the project tree. And the hatching shown here functions as a placeholder for an image. You can now also combine images with descriptions, but those images can no longer be resized as it would break the layout of the page. If you want your images to be displayed in a different size, then please choose Layout Alternative on the right. The summary has also been revised. You can now display rectangular rooms in landscape format to view them enlarged. Go to Configure page and choose ISO Illuminance Curves, False Colors and Value Chart to show them together in one floor plan. You can also include furniture and luminaires in this view. Please always remember to check for following pages. When you are finished configuring your page selection, go to Show Entire Documentation in order to create a complete documentation. After that, go to Save As in order to export your documentation in PDF format. With Dialogs Evo 9 we have changed the vector graphics to raster graphics. This can result in larger PDF files. If you want to reduce the file size, you can specify the image quality. The main reason for this change was the significantly improved stability. This is especially noticeable with large projects which are now much easier to load. If you want to print your documentation, you can do so by clicking the button Print. You can also export your configured page selection as a template. This has the advantage that you can organize your data storage yourself. In addition, this template can be exchanged more easily with each other, since your colleagues can use this template and import it into a project. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. Thanks for listening and have fun with Evo 9. Bye.